if history repeats itself, Bitcoin should bottom around 10k. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In this video guys, we'll go back and study the previous bear markets going back to 2012 and 2013 and share with you my thoughts on where Bitcoin could bottom this year. And also guys, more importantly, I'll share with you exactly how I'm trading it if you've been watching our channel. In this channel guys, we don't only share with you technical analysis and price prediction, we share with you exactly when we're buying and selling. So we bought some Bitcoin around here, I'll review the exact trade, share with you what my plans are going forward as well. And more importantly, guys, if Bitcoin does break down, I'll share with you a potential short setup. If you've been following our channel or you're part of the Rockstar Trading Group, you know that we are short a hedge in case Bitcoin dumps or we short some altcoins mainly because altcoins can dump a lot more. I've shared the, all the setups on the live streams that I do on YouTube as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. I will be doing another live stream in, in eight hours time, UK time. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Go set reminder and you'll get notified when I'm going live. I'll share with you coins that we're looking to trade. Uh, the altcoins that we're short on and 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 you know bitcoin the key level that bitcoin needs to hold above so if you are interested in that make sure you subscribe to the channel and one final thing before i get into today's video if you do enjoy this type of content do hit that like button guys it really helps us out it also helps to you know share this content with people that are in need in a way because there's lots of people getting you know absolutely ruined you know following other people buying the dip at 60k or you know foaming and at 60k buying the dip really higher up than you know not waiting for the actual dip if you want this content to be shared to more people educate people on bitcoin do hit that like button it really helps us out so guys without further ado let's get into the video the first one we'll look at is the this dip that we saw back in 20 uh well, it's 2011 2012 and and the thing is i'm not going to put that much emphasis on this because back then the bitcoin market was very very premature it's nothing like it is now you know even 2012 i didn't know about bitcoin i started finding out about bitcoin around 2014 2015 i didn't buy it yeah, I think I did get some Bitcoin. I don't own that. I, I started getting aggressively into Bitcoin just below 1K, 1K early 2017. That's when I got, I started my crypto journey. I was a Forex trader back then, but I wasn't really into crypto. So I'm not going to emphasize that much. But if you do study the dip, you know, we had about an 85% dip in that. Just to, you know, this is not just a number that I'm picking out of from anywhere. This is a dip that we saw happen as well. 80, back in 2012, and, you know, history tends to repeat itself. If you study the stock market and all the, all the other markets, starting previous behaviors has helped us and even this dip i've not included this dip because this is during a bull market one one spike but even this dip uh, roughly this was around 84 85 percent so you can see the importance of 84 85 percent and it's happened a few times back in 2014 again it was a bit more uh, developed the bitcoin markets exchanges but even then it was still really early i'm not sure how much emphasis I, I i wanted to put on it but if you study the chart if i told you if you're not an expert in bitcoin if i told you this was the 2017 okay this the chart looks very similar we had a huge markup then people start forming in here this is when newbies start buying and then it dips it has a huge sell-off it bounces again and then it fails to make a new high it does this and then it breaks down so this pattern exactly happened back in 2017 and you guys know we we kept buying the support level and that's how we're trading I'll, I'll review my trade setup at the end of the video let's actually share with you the title of the video you know studying previous bear markets but what happened here is we had a huge rally in 2017 broke down we tried to ba bounce back up couldn't make a new high lower highs lower highs and then boom breakdown and um, this is a very similar pattern to what we saw so studying history does help and if you guys knew uh, if you guys were following me back then i was a dumb guy that was buying 6k and people started calling me a scammer and we kept bouncing and i bought 6k here again and then once we broke down that's when i started getting bearish and i bought the dip uh, around here and and if you guys followed me again uh, i recommend you go watch this video uh, this is probably the most important video i made um, i still see people you know buying luna getting wrecked with luna or you know buying bitcoin too early and then selling this is a video I made in 2018 and I kept repeating I make this video every year where I talk about just buying the dip and just holding Bitcoin if you believe in cryptocurrency long term so I bought Bitcoin around 4k here and then it actually dumped a lot lower against me people started saying you can't you don't know how to trade and all this stuff and that ended up being one of my best buys and you know I've bought Bitcoin here and, and my average entry is on 27k at the moment and um, 
I'll share with you how we're trading it. But again, if I'm I'm expecting a bounce here because if it follows what it did here, we should see a bounce. And then what happens after the bounce? That's the big question. If we can break this new high, so previously bounces didn't break a new high. If we can break this new high, then we can start talking about new all-time highs. But if it keeps failing, then we can expect Bitcoin to break down and come into like 10, 20k for the potential bottom. So that's what my prediction is. That's what my prediction is. But it, Predictions doesn't mean anything. It depends on how you actually make money. So uh, Bitcoin again had a similar pattern to what it did in 2014, and it dumped into around 80 for 84, 85 percent before Bitcoin pumping into new highs. So could we see something similar this year? We saw a huge rally. Sorry, last year we saw a huge rally. We dumped and then it, and we bought the dip here. We rallied. We but this time we actually broke out into new highs. If you see the chart, it broke out into new highs, but it couldn't sustain it. I still think this is similar pattern. You know, we bounce the last few times it couldn't break out into new highs but dumped i think it's a similar pattern the price just went up a bit higher than it had done previously so this is like the 6k level this is like the 300 and 400 level previously oops apologies that's the level that we're at now but the question is are we going to see a bounce i'm still betting on a bounce but again i've given it time i really want to see the, for the bounce to work to bounce away in the next few you know next few weeks next week even i don't want it to keep chopping around because if it keeps chopping around the market could be really weak and we could just have a dump down and another really important analysis that we use in the rocks or trading group is looking at stock stock market because Bitcoin and stock market are highly correlated. Previous dumps, you can see the bottom in the stock market, March 2020. This was also the bottom in Bitcoin. They, they're very, very correlated. So uh, I did make a video for you guys to share with you how we use that. I can't remember where it is now, but if you type in the stock, there you go. I think this is the correlation. What happens if the stock market, I go into, you know, same as this, we're studying the history of a Bitcoin chart. I study the history of Bitcoin chart going back to 2014, comparing it to how the stock market had affected so are we expecting something similar to this so i don't know if it's going to bounce up and then break down or if it's going to break down from now i'm um, obviously as a trader you take on bets and it, it you take on bets that are high probability so the rocks trading group we are still long and i'll share with you what will make us go short or as a short hedge and at the moment, I'm still hoping that we bounce and then we see what happens for me to for, for Bitcoin to prove me that the uh, to prove me that it's bullish. I want to see breakout above this high. You know, previously, these highs couldn't be broken. Uh, if Bitcoin does break this high, then I'll be like, OK, guys, I'm changing my bias. But I'm not going to change my bias. One video bullish, one video bearish, like the hundreds of other YouTube channels. And if you are following those YouTube channels, do yourself a favor. Stop, you know, unfollow them. You know, I'm not saying follow me. Follow me for a bit. It's, if I make money, make you money or if my predictions or trading strategies work my predictions might not work but i'm confident over a year my trading strategy will make you money this is back tested from seven years and i show all my trades live here on youtube and the rockstar trading group so you know if you follow my trading strategy it would work but it might not be suited to you because people are you know different psychology but you know check my some of my trades over a few months and if it doesn't work for you move away but please don't follow you know the influences that say pump one day then you know dump the next day so that's what I'm expecting Bitcoin to do. But if, if for, for me to say Bitcoin is not going to dump and going to pump higher, it needs to break this. But if it does dump, I'm not sure if it will bounce up and then dump or if it's going to dump. Next few weeks is going to be really important to get this move right. So if you get this move right, you could make life changing money if you grab a nice short for this dump or grab a, um, a bounce which you're trying to play and a bounce Th those are the big moves big money that you can get make because most of the time when markets going sideways you don't make much money you make money in the big moves that happen especially these altcoin moves this is when you make life changing money in the rockstar trading group i teach you to protect your wealth in this type of market and we try to make money in this and the strategies that i teach is to capitalize on this and not lose all your money when we are seeing dips make money in those crazy moves up so um, if it does dip, if we see previous moves that we saw, I've put this down to 85% roughly. That brings us a target of 10 ten thousand um, dollars and for me the next level i look to buy would be around 18 to 20k i'm gonna actually look to buy that level especially if we dip into that because you know we could have bounces this was a 50 percent bounce back there there's bounces to be played but if we follow the similar pattern to what we followed before bitcoin comes to around 10k so what do i think do i think bitcoin will come to around 10k in my opinion the market has changed a lot bitcoin is a lot you know bigger you know everyone's talking about it there's lots of hedge funds in it so in my opinion i don't know if we're going to see a 
that type of colossal dump and if you do see it i expect it to get bought up really quickly and um, so that's my thoughts so there is an argument that because of you know how developed bitcoin is we might not see that low prices and it could you know dump 60 percent 70 percent and not as much as 85% like we have. And if it's like a 70% dump, then Bitcoin comes to run 20K and then we move up higher. So uh, what is your thoughts? Do you think Bitcoin will reset like it has previously and dump 85%? Or do you think it could lean a bottom around a 70% dip? Comment below your thoughts, guys. And like I said, live stream later on today. If you are enjoying this type of content, you know, facts-based, database trading strategy, do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification button and join us on the live stream later on today. So thank you very much. Smash that like button. And subscribe to the channel check out the group if you're interested if not guys just hit that like button and thank you very much for watching